ladies and gentlemen, Stephen here from Rattle Essence. Welcome back to another video. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And in today's episode, we're going to be taking a closer look at a fragrance from 2004. And this one by Givenchy is called Blue Label. So make sure to stay tuned. This fragrance came out in Finally, 2000. Finally, yes. Oh my God. On this. Where did you come from? Who opened the door? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to say. He didn't let me in. He said, he said I had to use the bathroom, and then he closed the door, and then his mom sent me to the corner store, and then next thing you know, my I didn't have my stuff on me. Wait, I have to get my stuff. Oh my God. What are you gonna do? But he is here, the one and only, the Ink and King. So Solano also has a channel. I'm gonna leave a link to it down below. Uh, this is actually your fragrance. So thank you so much for lending it to me so that we can do this review. So this one was released in 2004. The perfumers for this are Elias Hermenides and Alberto Morillas. This is definitely on the fresher side. And I think whenever you add blue to any name or any label, uh, that's pretty much a given. And so there is a lot of citrus in this. There's yeah. bergamot, grapefruit, a little bit of cedar wood, but then there's also a spicy component on account of pepper so i'm very excited to tell you guys what we think of this fragrance being as though this is your fragrance what do you get from the smell i get this nice sweet sweet citrusy fragrance really this is like a bad boy smell this is the thing is a bad boy yeah one where it's really nice you can see yourself wearing the leather jacket your hair combed back you getting the girl your motorcycle this is what this is what Givenchy intended this to be. Sure. A bad boy fragrance. When you look at the poster, if you ever, I don't know if Steven's gonna put the poster up or look it up and you see the bad boy fragrance in it. I get a little bit of that, man. I actually do. So to me, it kind of reminds me of Versace Mano Fresh or O Fresh. I know I'm mispronouncing it. And that one is a composition by Olivier Cress. But I think that specifically with this one, it's definitely going in a more spicy arena. And so that pepper comes across pretty loud, but not as loud as like a Poif Samarkand by Hermes. It's not going to make you sneeze or anything like that. But I can see that bad boy element in there. Yeah, it's a likable pepper. It's not yeah. like, it's not the one that you get, like where you get with uh, Creed, uh, Creed Viking or other, or uh, sure. Old Spice, like those. No, those is a settled pepper. Because I'm not a pepper fan. And growing up, while this was just my signature scent, this is actually my second bottle. Nice. The first one, my dad introduced it to me and my brother bought me this bottle because it was so, to me, like it's so nice. I liked it all the time. I did get the compliments. The only the only bad thing that I would say is longevity is not that good on it. It mm. really gives you about six hours, but then again, it's a freshie. So you can't expect much from a freshie. It did his job in the summer and back then I didn't care. Like I said, I wore it year round. That and uh, I also wish it actually lived on as it should have lived on but it didn't wasn't so popular as it was when it came out yeah you know and especially considering the fact that now it's 15 years old uh it's probably not as potent as it was when it first came out who knows if it's been subject to reformulations and such but um i do find it to be a very refreshing appealing and masculine sort of a fragrance and so i can see why it was so popular and why you wore it for so many years so much so that you're on your third bottle yeah, right? it's been there. I got my fourth bottle, my backup bottle at home. Nice, cool. That uh, actually my co-workers gave me and pretty much that one. And I love it. It brings back so many memories, high school days, um, you know, hanging out in the football games with it, um, mm. you know, leaving my friends to coming back to them and seeing them. So many memories in this bottle alone. And yeah. Yeah. Uh, so final verdict, Stephen. Thank you. So final verdict is I think it's a very pleasant smell. I think it's one that although it came out 15 years ago, it still smells modern, fresh, and contemporary. And I think it's the type of smell where if you are tired of wearing Versace and Mano Fresh, or you're tired of wearing Aqua de Jo, or perhaps even Dior Sauvage, and you're looking for something a little bit more rugged and a little bit more spicy, I would say definitely check out Givenchy Blue Label. Yeah, check it out. If not, check out his corner, uh, counterpart, uh, Givenchy, the red one. Mm -hmm. It's just called Givenchy. Givenchy Pour Home. Mm -hmm. Check it out. These are both cheap. They're like $20 each. So if you want to pick them both up, pick them both up $20. There you go. Nice. So thank you again for being on my channel. Uh, as always, Winston's information is going to be down below in the description section. So make sure to check them out. And also thank you for uh, bringing this bottle with you today so that we can review it. Thank you for letting me in. Of course. My pleasure.
Also, if you are new to this channel and you took something of value from this video, please do consider subscribing to this channel. It's easy and it's free and I would greatly appreciate it. All it requires is you clicking that red subscribe button in the corner and this way whenever I do upload future fragrance related content, it will get delivered straight to your feed. Never need to worry about missing any of our future uploads. Thanks again for watching. I love you all and we'll see you next time. Peace. Bye.